Hey everybody, welcome to a sick outside the pages. Didn't do one last week. Had a very sore throat. Still have a sore throat, but feeling better. Just have to space my videos out, which is why I haven't done anything for Dark Avenger Inc. in the past week. Throat is killing me. I don't know why. It went to both sides. Now this side feels better. This side still hurts. Where are you going? We're going that way. Mike's holding the camera because Cindy's Hello. at home. I had to go to the bank and we went to this nice hardware store and they sell metal signs. I had to get one of these. Nope. We, they had, I didn't have the money with me at the time so I decided to leave. They had Iron Man, they had Spider-Man, they had Batman, they had a classic Batman, they had a classic Spider-Man, they had tons of superhero ones. We went back to the store, thank God there were two of these because we went back, no joke, all they had left were Coca-Cola signs, one with Santa Claus, I like Santa Claus, and um, they had some other older signs, even the I Love Lucy sign was gone. The Vitamita Vegemin, for those of you um, people that know I Love Lucy, you know what Vitamita Vegemin is. Somebody literally came in and took 50%, if not maybe 60% of all the metal signs. They were mostly all gone. This and some Coca-Cola ones, some repeat ones, were all that were left. So, that was kind of shocking. Yeah, that was, really. Yeah. So, we're going to cross the street, so you better watch while we're crossing. I'm watching. I can hold the camera and cross the same time. Yeah, sure you can. You're not even looking at me anymore. I, I well, cause I'm looking both ways before crossing the street. Excuse me, Look princess. Look both ways before you cross. So no anyway, duh. I've been sick. I have done absolutely jack and or shit the past two weeks. There's someone blasting music. Idiot people blasting music with the windows open. So I would when do I the blast same music, sometimes. I close my window. No, I close the window at least. Well, in my convertible rock and roll music, you know, I got blast that. In my future, I'm gonna get a convertible. Hopefully. And now we're on the windy corner, so you're not gonna hear nothing. Well, unless I cover the camera like this. Nope. One second. Sorry for that minor interruption, but I cut the camera out on purpose because you wouldn't have heard anything for the past few minutes on the corner because we got the wind blowing and everything. So, like I was saying, I've done jack and or shit the past week because it has been a stressful week for my throat. Stressful week period, last week of work, and now we go into the summer quadrant of the program, which I actually go in earlier to work, which is good, more money, bad, I'm going to be tired at night, but, however, uh, like I said, it's more money, and more money is deliciously good. Yeah. No, I was going to say it's delicious. Oh, oh, shoot, I'm holding it the wrong way. It's Oops. deliciously good. So that means more money for stuff to buy, more money for whatever. Funny story is Xbox recanted the whole you have to download your games and you can't share games, which I think is personally a fantastic idea. Uh, I'm actually very glad they um, decided to recant that. And especially after the PlayStation 3 little stick that they gave to Xbox, uh, well, PlayStation 4. Finally, I, I, I know a few people, some dope actually made a video saying how it's wrong that Xbox went back on their word. I personally think Xbox did the right thing because now at least their sales will go a little bit higher than what they were before. Um, as far as new systems go, we have no idea what we're doing. We're supposed to have a meeting this week, uh, me, Mike, and Kev, about what games and what stuff we want to do for Brooklyn Boys. Kev's sick. We still have to have this meeting because we got to get stuff rolling again. With or without this sore throat, I have to get back to work. I can't uh, online because I got a ton of videos piling up. I got a ton of work to do in general and. I can't keep my mouth shut anymore. I don't know what to do. Um, I got medicine recently for my throat, so hopefully the medicine will help. I don't know. Mike has a sore throat. Our mom has a, little a sore bit. throat. Yeah. Kevin's home today, like I said, because of a sore throat. A phlegm. Something's in the air. Oh, yeah. And whatever it is, hopefully it'll go away and things will get better. It's the second day of summer. Hooray for that. Uh, I will be shooting the uh, caterpillars. After, it'll be at the end of the video. I have one part from last week. Um, and I'll have a part from this week, but this week the caterpillars are actually um, going our butterflies now. They're not going. One is still in its chrysalis, but the rest have all cracked open and are butterflies. So missed out on all that, but I'll show you guys what the butterflies look like. We're probably going to set them free tomorrow. So in the next outside the pages, you'll see them being set free and stuff. But it's just been one of those weeks where it's work and then I come home and I'm sick. And I did the Tuesday show 
the live show and after the live show my throat was killing me so Wednesday I couldn't even talk Thursday was uh, me and Mike did the related recap this week because Brant's going to be off his computer for the next couple of weeks uh, so on YouTube is where the related recap this week next week and possibly the following week uh, is going to be posted and then Brant said he's going to work his magic on the videos and put them on the podcast form I don't know how to do that I wish I did but I don't there's a lot of stuff that's on pause or, or on hold because it's a lot of stuff me and Brant are working on but that's okay you know things happen uh, we have a lot of other stuff that we you know that are that we have planned anyway but it's just been one of those months where it's like thank god the month's almost over because this month has been just completely nuts man of steel came out like it hated i don't even care anymore it's a movie movies don't reflect on the comic books and comic books obviously don't reflect on the movies anymore and for those of you that love movies that are as close to reality as possible you're gonna like man of steel no problem Personally, when I go watch a sci-fi fantasy movie, I expect more fantasy than being able to relate with real life and stuff. That's just my personal point of view. I don't like connecting with, like, oh my god, that is perfect. It's dark enough so that it feels just like reality, like it could happen anytime. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but when it comes to superhero movies, you expect the fantasy side more than the gritty, dark realities of it all. Because that's what we do when we read comic books. We look to escape reality, not jump into a different reality where, you know, it's dark and whatever. I don't know. Maybe people want more reality now. That's why reality TV is doing so well and fictional TV isn't. Personally, I like fantasy. I, I prefer fantasy over reality when it comes to comic books. And especially when it comes to movies, you don't need to relate to Superman. You don't need to relate to Spider-Man or anybody else. I mean, on a personal level, yes, or like that. But you don't want to have to say, gee, that's a dark movie and it's believable. It's not supposed to be believable. It doesn't matter if, it, if it's believable or not. That's just my opinion. But I think, personally, when it comes to movies, I'm moving out of the shade because the shade is cool. I, I personally think when it's a movie, it needs to be, if it's sci-fi, it needs to be fictional. Star Trek, that's fictional. Nobody's complaining about Star Trek. I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, the Superman Man of Steel movie did what it set out to do. Congratulations. As many other people have said, and I'm sure as other people have said and complained about, not my Superman. You don't have to agree with my opinion, but I know a few people have agreed with my opinion. And I read Mark Wade's um, review on the movie, and I agree with what he said. Me, personally, once again. So that's the movies. Really, that's about all I have this week for you guys. I apologize. This is going to be a very short video. Uh, hopefully, next week, my voice will be back to normal. Hopefully, everything will go back to normal, where I'm uploading at a spectacularly super speed. Obviously, with Kev not coming, there's no Comics Point 3 this week. Um, I didn't shoot outside, I didn't shoot the um, Comic Book Friday haul yet, so I'm going to shoot that after this video, but it's going to go up before this video. Uh, this is a lot of stuff, and we have the meeting. We're just setting up for the summer. This is like the transition week, the past couple of weeks. I guess June, the month. This month is more of a transition month from spring and fall to summer and going into, uh, not spring and fall, winter and, fall and spring. Now we're transitioning into summer and fall. So this is kind of like our transition month and we're also trying to keep Brooklyn Boys going because we've kind of been neglecting that channel for a couple of months now. So we're just trying to get like some transition stuff going and it's taking time out of making videos but when we come back and when we get everything back to normal speed, it's gonna have, um, it's gonna have what you call material for all channels and it's gonna be great and the website's coming up soon. So the website's gonna bring all of our channels together and it's gonna build on what we do on our channels as well as what we do outside of our channels. Uh, we'll be able to add external stuff, like the stuff we do on Blogger or the stuff we do on other in other places and we'll be able to pull it all together into this one big website. This way all of our content will be there from all of our different places. But until then, there's the YouTube channels and hopefully once the website goes up, there'll be a ton more content, ton more things to do and uh, there'll definitely be interactive ways to get you guys involved on the, on the website as time moves forward. Just, it's a lot of work. So anyway guys, I'm gonna cut out here. I'll see you guys really soon, voice permitting. I'll be able to cover all the videos I wanted to cover. Oh, it's motorcycles. Take care everybody and I will see you guys really soon. Look forward to the butterfly thing after this part. So see you guys, I'm gonna find a place for this sign. Take care guys. Well.
they have gone from being very long now to almost chrysalising. This guy's going to be a chrysalis by the end of the night. The rest of these guys, the reason I can't record is as you can see all this happened, but hey little guy, hey buddy. <clears throat> So this guy and these guys are all going to become chrysalises like that guy soon. But for now, they're just long, long caterpillars. I can see they got like twice or three times the size. You have something to say? Hey. See? It's your fault. You're putting all this stuff here and I can't see your friends. Ah, caterpillars. So, soon they'll be chrysalises, and then we put them in the bigger house, and then they become the butterflies. Alright, just a quick update here. And these are the butterflies. Here's one, two, three, four. This is a, um, the uh, cardboard, uh, no, this is a styrofoam cup. Inside the styrofoam cup is water with a lot, with, uh, I forget how many spoonfuls of sugar. And then you put a piece of um, paper towel in there. It soaks it up, and that's how they eat. This one was just eating from there until it heard me start talking. Here's the fifth, and this guy right here is still a chrysalis. So we're waiting for him to burst out, which he will in about a day or so. He or she, am I hitting the, I'm hitting the plastic. And once he does, or she does, or it does, we will release them. But they're all very happy. They're all very lively. These guys had their wings open before. And all the red stuff is dye from the wings. Lots of people mistake it for blood, but yes, that's red dye from their wings, as you see. The wings are close to the same color as the dye. There's a reason for that. So yes, they're very healthy. Very flyy. Where'd you go? Oh, there you went. See, that's their tongue. That black stick that's coming out of his mouth is his tongue. I just don't understand why he's not touching the... Oh, and he put it back in his mouth. It's that. That's it. Oh, wait. Are you coming out? Oh, this guy's falling. No, don't fall. And now uh, he's in the cup, too. Hey, two butterflies in a cup. Two, two butterflies, one cup. Uh -huh. See the reference there? Two butterflies, one cup. Uh, th th there he goes. And look, he's eating. See? Puts his tongue on it and they just suck it out like bees. So that's the butterflies. And hopefully this guy will break out soon. Alright, so that's it. See you guys next time.